Our eight dogs belong to Washington. Sweet Lips and Well Vulcan. Cornwall is Stipsy, Drunker, Taster, and Tipler, their last one. Snipe was Martha's parrot, who I hope kept its cage clean. Adam's three dogs, Juno, Mark, and Satan, perhaps that one's mean. Dick was Jefferson's mockingbird, his dog was a Lamberger. James Madison's pet parrot, Polly, now that name's everywhere. Monroe had a spaniel, Quentin Adams, home none were there. Jackson owned a parrot, Paul, who I hear would swear. Van Buren and Harrison both had no pets, don't know why. Tyler's dog Lebo and his canary Johnny Ty. Pope Taylor and Fillmore were all petless, so I heard. Pierce from Japan had two dogs and also had two birds. Buchanan had two dogs, Munch and Laura and an eagle sea. Lincoln two dogs, Fido and Chip Cats, Tabby and Dixie. He also had a rabbit with no name, no pet baby. Johnson, no pets, Grant had two dogs, Faithful and Rosie. The pets of the president's president of comfort, love, and more. Just be careful not to leave important papers on the floor. He's loved animals, had eight dogs, and three cats that he kept. Dogs were Dot, Hector, Duke, Remotus, Jet, Juno, and Shep. Three cats, I am Miss Pussy, and Piccolo Mini were there. Garfield's veto was a dog, and Arthur had a hare. Cleveland's dogs, Hector Gallagher, and three dachshunds with fleas. He also had some mockingbirds, don't know the quantity. Ben Harrison's were Dash, a dog, and Whiskers, his pet goat. And two possums, reciprocity and protection, they wrote. McKinley's parrot, Loretta, Willer, and Delome, his cats. Teddy nearly had a zoo, hyena, snake, pig, even rats. Ten dogs, two cats, a barn owl, guinea pigs, lizard, and hen. Their names would take a week to write. When I'm done, I'll tell you then. Tap two cows, Molly and Miss Wayne, and a dog, Caruso. Wilson's cat, Buff, and Songbirds, and his dog, Davy and Russo. The pets of Arnings were two dogs, Old Boy and Laddie Boy. Also, Petey, a canary, a squirrel, Pete, who brought him joy. The pets of the president, president of comfort, love, and more. Just be careful not to leave important papers on the floor. Coolidge had quite a menagerie, which is too long to list. Twelve dogs, two cats, six birds, a goose, and raccoon, you get the gist. Hoover's nine dogs, King Tut, Big Ben, and Pat among his pets. Sunny Glenn, Yukon, and Ouija, Patrick, and his last Gillette. Plus Caruso, a canary, Franklin's dogs, a lot they meant. Fala Major, Maggie, Wings, Tiny, Blaze, and President. Truman wasn't fond of pets, but had a dog, Mike, someone said. I had a dog and a parakeet, Heidi and Gabby, I read. Kennedy, eleven dogs, a rabbit, hamsters, and a cat. LBJ, six dogs, birds, and hamsters wandered their flat. Nixon, four dogs, Vicky, Pasha, Checkers, and King T. Maho. Ford's Liberty, Lucky, and Misty, dogs, plus a cat, John, you know. Garner's dog was Lewis, and Siamese cat, Misty. Reagan, six dogs, Lucky Rex, Victory, Peg, Taka, and Fuzzy. Plus the two cats, Leo and Sara, was his lot. Bush one Millie and her puppy rangers all he got. The pets of the president, president of comfort, love, and more. Just be careful not to leave important papers on the floor. Buddy, a dog, and socks, a cat were the pets of Clinton's. Bush two's cat, Billy, dog, smart, Barney, and Beasley Dunn. Obama's pets were Bo and Sonny, two dogs that he'd share. Trump, on the other hand, had no animal companions there. Les Biden's three dogs, Champ Commander and Major Hood Bite. And a cat named Willow, who I think he'd let out at night. These were and are the small companions of the presidents. What we give is what we get, mutual dependence.